Hi, Assalamualaikum. With me again, Teacher Rin. Today we will learn Mathematics Form 3, Chapter 1, Indices, 1.2, Law of Indices. In this video, we will look at how to relate the multiplication of numbers in index form with the same base to repeated multiplication and hence we make some generalization. In Form 3, we will learn Law of Indices. There are six law you need to know throughout the year. In this video, we will focus on the first law of indices, which is multiplication. Here is the law of multiplication of numbers in index form. The most important things that you need to know to use this law of indices is the base must be the same. For example, here, A multiply with A. So you can use this law. If in the expression, you have different base, you cannot use this law as the solution. All right. So look at this law. Okay. A to the power of M times A to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. You can see here actually times here or multiply for an index number which have the same base, okay, a, right? They can be added here. Boleh paham? Maksudnya bila asas sama, okay, a dengan a ni, okay, index dia kamu boleh tambah. Right, tapi dia punya operation here, okay, the operation between those two um, numbers, okay, must be multiply. Kalau multiply, dia punya index akan jadi tambah. Boleh? Okay then, let us look at some examples. Example 1. The question asks us to simplify each of the following. Question A, you can see here 7 to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 3 means you have the same base which is 7 so you can use the law of indices here as you can write here 7 as the base okay no need to repeat it you just uh, do an operation for the indices okay which is 2 and 3 okay for indices if the operation for the base is times ataupun multiply, eh? okay, multiply darab, maka indexnya mesti ditambahkan. Boleh? Alright. So, kita pun ambil lah. So, yes, we take 2 plus 3, you can get 7 to the power of 5. Okay? Alright. Let us move on to question B. As I said before, if the base is the same, okay, you can see here 0 0.2. 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 is the same base, right? But the index is not the same. So, the final answer should be 0 0.2. And the indices is, alright, 2. What you should do to the 3 tu? Apa kamu perlu buat kepada 3? Okay, kamu perlu tambah. Sebabnya, the operation here is multiply, right? So, 2 plus 3 plus 5. So, the final answer is 0 0.2 to the power of 10. Right? So, question C. Wow. You got something new here. You can see number 2 and 7. But, don't be confused. M, actually, for this question, you have same base, which is M. Okay, the variable here is m, so the same base. But this is what we call coefficient. If you cannot remember it, you can um, revise back uh, from form 1, okay, about algebraic expression, alright. What is coefficient ataupun perkali, okay. So, nombor-nombor di depan ini kita panggil perkali dan ini adalah variable ataupun uh, pemboleh ubah. Right, so kita tengok pada pemboleh ubah. 
boleh ubahnya sama jadi kita boleh gunakan law of indices. Okay, untuk menjawab soalan ini, so what you should you do is you take the perkali ataupun coefficient first which is 2 times 7, alright, boleh? Okay, and then M, okay, times M, tapi M tu kamu gabungkan the index, okay, 2 plus 4. Alright, 2 plus 4 is 6, right? So, 2 uh, times 7, 2 multiply of 7 mean you get 14 M to the power of 6. Okay, that is the final answer. Okay, let us look at the final question for this example. Alright, a little bit long but it's okay. Don't panic, alright? Just look at where is the coefficient, where is the variable, and then where is the indices. Alright, so sure, surely here P, P and P. So you can combine all the expression, alright? Before that, you take the coefficient first, which is 2, okay? 2 times 3 over 4 times 10. Okay, what should you do to P uh, and the indices here? 2 plus, okay, because it is uh, darab di sini kan. Dia punya index kena tambah. Okay, the indices must be added together. 2 plus 4 plus, okay, here. Please remember that if any variable does not have any index here, okay, uh, upper here, okay, I show you. Okay, if no indices here means it takes the value of 1. Okay, kalau tak ada apa-apa di atas tu bermaksud 1. Bukan tak ada ataupun 0 bukan eh. Dia bermaksud 1. Sama lah jika uh, ada nombor di depan tiada. P ni ia bermaksud ada 1. Alright, boleh? Okay, so let's uh, okay, move on. Okay, so the final answer. Okay, kamu tak carilah 2 times 2. 3 over 4 times 10, alright, and the answer is 15, and P to the power of 2 plus 4 plus 1 equals to 7. Next is example 2. Okay, for example 2, a little bit different, uh, it combined 2 variable, okay, uh, means that 2 base. For 2 basis question, you cannot combine all just like that. You need to Oh, sorry, this is the second uh, question. Okay, you need to uh, arrange first M with M and N with N. Right? Or else, if you are getting better after this, you need to arrange. Okay, for the first time, uh, just arrange it so that it is easier for you to find the final answer. Okay, M with M only and with N only. M Multiply M. Okay. So, di sini jawapannya adalah M. Okay. Kerana ini adalah darab. Alright. So, the index must be tambah. Okay. Sama lah dengan N. Okay. Diharapkan N. Okay. 3 plus 3. Okay. Okay. So, ini satu perkara. Okay. Uh, ada sikit. Ada sedikit uh, yang perlu kamu ambil maklum di sini. If M, N ataupun boleh ubahlah A sampai Z. You need to, uh, you don't need to put any uh, operation here. Okay, tak ada darab di sini. You just M to the power of 4, N to the power of 6 is okay. Tak perlu ta letak, letak pun tak salah. Okay, so inilah final answer untuk A. Okay, untuk B. Berapa asas yang ada di sini? How many bases here? Okay, got 2, right? 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. So, for a beginner, uh, you you can arrange it first. But if you are getting uh, more fast after this, okay, faster after this, uh, you just need to write the first base here, 0 0.2, and combine uh, the indices for this base, which is uh, 2, Plus 5 eh. Sini. Uh, you cari yang 0.2 je lah. Okay. Gabungkan. Right. Then. Untuk 0.3 apa? 3 plus. Ah, this one. No kan. Tak ada. Tapi je. Ingat bila tak ada bermaksud sah. 1. Okay. Alright. So dah habiskan lah. Uh, 0.2. To the power of 7. 
and then 0 0.3 to the power of 4. Okay, because the question is simplify, no need to find the value. Okay, kalau soalannya find the value, you find the value. We continue with third question for example 2. Okay, the same. I, I just play faster. Alright, so here you get uh, base uh, three base, which is P, M and N. Alright, so P, okay, you combine P and P. So 2 plus 4. And then M, only one M here. Okay, no need to combine with any any uh, gang. Eh? Alright, and then N. Okay, so the final answer is like this. Question D, it combined all with the coefficient and so on. So here I uh, highlight to you the coefficient first, okay, which is negative. Negative means negative 1, alright? And here, negative means negative 1, okay, times 2. Okay, I just write the coefficient first. I hope you, that you can see, okay, negative, and then 2, and then 3, and then 1 over 4. Okay, and then you take uh, M first. Okay, uh, please remember all the coefficient, you just combine it together. And then, and after that, you take the uh, bases based on the same base only. Alright, so M with M. Okay, it's so M here. 4 plus, okay, please remember if nothing here means 1. So, 4 to the power of 4 plus 1. Alright, and then N is what? 5 plus to y plus uh, y plus because n here yeah, okay combined with uh, the operation multiply there okay so the final answer here just like this okay i think that's all for this uh, today's topic which is multiplication of numbers in that form i hope that you can really understand it okay what you need to remember is if the uh, operation is multiplied with same base all right the indices must be added together add means tambah okay kalau darab tambah okay so i think that's all for multiplication we will continue after this with division till we meet again assalamualaikum bye bye